Hail Swabbies, it's you, Cappy. And I've decided that we're going to do one more standalone one-off video before we get back into Chrono Trigger in Westerado, and it's going to be... Presents Super Metroid. So this is a game that I've not really played very much. Um, you can see that I do have 39 minutes on it because I've spent a little bit of time with it. Really, I've just not played it much at all. Um, it's one that I remember existing when I was younger. I vaguely remember playing it. As a matter of fact, I actually think I remember playing uh, Metroid for the NES more than this one. Um, but it's one of those ones that you just kind of have to play, especially if you're a Nintendo fan like me, and I am. So we're going to play some Metroid. Um, again, this is a game that I will likely try and do a full Let's Play of at some point, especially as I've been playing this evening, kind of familiarizing myself with the game beyond the first 10 seconds. Um, it is kind of a cool game. It kind of puts off a little bit of a creeper vibe. Um, not gonna lie. Uh, I have a very low tolerance for creepy scary games. Um, this one isn't particularly terrifying, but it does really kind of put off a little bit of a creeper vibe. Um, so this is the story. Look, there's a Metroid. It imprinted upon me when I killed its mother. Or no, I killed Mother Brain. I didn't kill the Metroid's mother. Whatever. Look at me knowing the story so super well. Uh, eventually, we will get through this garbage. And get to actually play the game. So, this is a good, uh, it's not just a run and gun, um, because there's definitely some strategy and some, uh, puzzle element to this game. Uh, we're not going to see a lot of that tonight because I doubt I'm going to actually get into the, um, real, like, heavy gameplay where you start to pick up different weapons, but, uh, the premise is you start to pick up different weapons and tools. Uh, actually a la Zelda a little bit, and those tools help you progress through the game. Jiminy Christmas, I didn't realize this intro was so long! Here we go, alright. So we're actually going to get into the game here for a minute or two. Space Colony. Um, again, so I wasn't, uh, this, this game just doesn't have a lot of nostalgia factor for me because I didn't play it as a kid. Um, so really I feel like I get to kind of judge it with fresh eyes. And thus far I'm actually really, I say actually like I'm surprised, but I'm not. I'm really enjoying playing it so far. Like I said, it's kind of putting off a little bit of a creeper vibe, which isn't totally my style. Uh, you know, with those dead bodies and whatnot back there. Uh, but all in all, I really enjoy it. It's a fun, kind of different style game. And I much enjoy it. Come on. What are we doing here, kids? Oh no, it's Ripley! Ridley! Ridley Ripley. I don't know. See, I'm so such a bad Nintendo fan because I don't even know the name of Samus's arch enemy. Um, one thing that I really, really like about this one above all other... Jiminy Christmas, I'm so bad at this. Really, guys, I'm terrible. Um, fortunately... I don't think I can actually lose at this point. I think he gets me pretty low and then we just go. Yeah, like that. Um, so, Jiminy Christmas, come on kids. This always stresses me out, because uh, I'm really bad at this. Uh, one of the really nice things about this game though, the L and R buttons actually play into the control scheme, which is kind of... I mean, it's not totally unusual for the Super Nintendo era, but it's kind of unusual, let's be honest. Uh, most of the games I've played, uh, especially in this, you know, string of one-offs that I've done, 
I don't have anything to do with the... Whoa, what in the world? I don't remember this. Ooh. Uh, don't have anything to do with the L and R buttons. And the L and R buttons in this game... Uh, um, make it so that you can aim up into... Up and at an angle and down it in an ang and at an angle. Alliteration for the win. Um, anyway. So that's a really, really nice change of pace for a shooter game. Most of the time you have to do the whole, like, pressing the D-pad and the awkward angles, and then your character's moving while you're shooting, and you don't always want that, and it's super obnoxious, but that doesn't happen in this game. And that's really cool. I really enjoy it. Uh, once we land here, I'll actually show you that. Ready, set... I'm so cool, I got a spaceship that looks like my face. Okay. So, R1, er, not R1, just R period. Pew, 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 L. Pew, 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 pew. And then if you jump, you can shoot down. Yeah, it's freaking awesome. So there's way more control to this game than... I'm going to venture to say most shooters, especially in this era. Now, the other kind of cool thing and staple of the Metroid games, to open doors, you shoot them. Like that. Shooting doors. So that's how you open them. Um, the interesting thing about that is when you run into different doors, so like you run into the, the red door back there that I didn't shoot, uh, they require different types of ammunition to open, and that's what I was talking about when I, when I was saying it's kind of, you know, a la The Legend of Zelda, that you have these different items that you're picking up to open more doors and go places you couldn't go before. Um, the game, as I understand it, is actually relatively small. Um, however, there's a lot of places that are blocked off, so you have to backtrack and roll back to different places. So far, so far, so far, it's been relatively, um, uh, relatively intuitive where I need to go. I mean, there's definitely some exploration involved, but I haven't felt like I'm totally lost yet. Hey, do I not? Oh, okay, I clearly don't have bombs yet. Um, uh, the other thing that I've really liked about the game so far is it kind of teaches you how to play as you play, which is really cool. Um, and when I say that, I mean that, uh, for example, um, in my other, oh geez, I was supposed to go the other direction, in my other game save that I was just playing with, I picked up Super Missiles, which are Neato Burrito, and Super Missiles open the green doors, I believe, sorry, I've, all, I've only just got them. And so you're running around, the only place you can go is a green door, and so you shoot it with your super missile, and it shows you that it'll knock some guys off the walls, in addition to doing, um, in addition to opening the door. Then, as you continue to play, you step out, and you find a little mechanism and you go ahead and shoot the mechanism with your super missile and learn, oh, well now I can blow these up with super missiles. Anyway, so it's just like it forces you into situations to teach you how to play the game, which is really kind of interesting and rather fascinating. Okay, so here's how we're going to do this. I... Uh, select switches weapons. You have to use five missiles to open a red door. I'm gonna run here and try and get to the first, like, kind of boss guy. Um, I'm really, like I said, bad, so I'm not sure if I'll beat him this time. I actually had to try really hard to beat him, like, an hour ago. 
when I started, like I said, kind of familiarizing myself with the game. So this could be super interesting or maybe not interesting at all. Um, also in as well, so each of those power-ups gives you five more missiles, so right now my maximum capacity should be ten. Uh, here we'll have some guys to shoot in a minute and we'll see what happens. Like I said, I'm going to hurry and try and get to the boss. Uh, we are kind of running out of time already, so we'll see what happens. I might just get to the top of this thing because I forgot this is terribly frustrating. Okay, that was... Haha! <laughs> Look at me. I'm so clever. By so clever, I mean I'm clearly not terribly clever because I just got killed again. Not killed, just shot. So then you have this whole like trying to jump up the thing while you're shooting the guys in the thing. And let's be honest, my strong suit is not jumping up the thing. Oh jeez, see? Okay. So I think that I'm gonna have to. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna have to call it quits. There's no way I'm gonna get to the first boss before uh, before we're looking at like a 15 or 20 minute video. So this is Super Metroid. Um, again, it has been a really fun game so far. I'm actually excited at the prospect of continuing to play said game and getting further, especially if we decide to do a let's play of this. So. Thank you for tuning in again. This has been Super Metroid. Uh, next week we'll be going back to either Chrono Trigger or Westerado. I might polish off Westerado because I think I'm close to the end. So with that said, go ahead and leave a comment. I want to know what is your favorite run-and-gun game of the NES SNES era. No rest for the wicked.